I'm so glad you're all here on Connection Sunday. This is going to be a really exciting and uh, fun service this morning. Nothing is going to look like it normally does. Our scripture today is a Psalm 119, verse 33 to 40, the message. God, teach me lessons for living so I can stay the course. Give me insight so I can do what you tell me, my whole life one long obedient response. Guide me down the road of your commandments. I love traveling this freeway. Give me an appetite for your words of wisdom and not for piling up loot. <clears throat> Divert my eyes from toys and trinkets. Invigorate me on the pilgrim way. Affirm your promises to me, promises made to all who fear you. Deflect the harsh words of my critics, but what you say is always so good. See how hungry I am for your counsel. Preserve my life through your gracious ways. Here ends our scripture. May God bless our receiving, understanding, and our living. I am here this morning to, to share some really good news. <laughs> so um, this dashboard allows us to monitor the, our financial situation um, year to date. And it highlights several of the data points that we monitor as a board um, pretty much every month. So um, as you remember at our annual meeting in January, we approved the balanced uh, operating budget for 2023, which um, as a reminder, it means that we are always keeping our expenses in check and we're not going to exceed our expenses. We're always going to be in line with our income. Um, so this board shows us really uh, quick in, in, in one graph that um, we have three, three data points, right? We have the, our year-to-date budget, which is the blue line. So for the first eight months of the year through August, we, uh, our budget is at $315,000. And then the green line shows us our income. 
which is our pledges, right? Our income is made from, from our pledges and the non-pledged um, income or donations and some very small building um, um, revenue. And then the, the last line, the, the yellow or orange line, shows our expenses through the first eight months. And our expenses are slightly behind our operating income, which is expected when we come out of the, the summer, right, of the summer slumber. So <laughs> th this is really good news. We have our um, bases loaded, so to speak, for Connection Sunday and for all the, the activities and the programs that we are starting today. So we have the staff, we have the volunteers, we have the connections and our relationships with uh, the community and the, the, the resources are out there for us to, to, to be successful with God's help and through, through the generosity and faithfulness of uh, this congregation. Um, last, this, this last number, 36%, we monitor this also um, pretty carefully uh, every month. So um, it shows us how much money we have in the operating fund versus the entire budget for the year. So this shows that we have four months of operating budget on, on hand for, for the, um, at any point in time at right now. So again, thank you very much for your faithfulness and for the energy and initiative and um, the talents that everyone brings to, to, to the table here, and we are off to a really good start at Connection Sunday. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Brooke DeRivers, and I'm on the Board of Mission and Stewardship. And to tell you the story of how I came to nominate Vilas County Youth Coalition, I first have to tell you the story of how my family and I came to Middleton Community Church. So um, back up about three years, and we uh, moved to the Wanakee area from the Western Wausau area, so just about two hours north of here. And I had gone on the UCC website to find the nearest um, United Church of Christ, and uh, they got a nice little radio button for you to select. You can select only those that are open and affirming. So I selected that button because that's important to my family and I. And um, the closest church was Middleton Community Church. So um, I said, let's go and check it out. And we were greeted by Steve Weber. <laughs> and we were early enough that uh, Darcy was there as Faith Formation. And she showed the kids the Sunday school. And Jake actually went to Sunday school the first Sunday we were here. So we thought we were winning as parents. <laughs> And um, we ha it was a lovely service, and um, my partner and I talked about our, our thoughts, and I said, you know, it seems too perfect. Like, how could we get it on the first try? I said, the only thing I'm concerned about is I don't know if we'll live by any of our neighbors. You know, we're in Wanakee, and the church is here in Middleton. So um, fast forward a week when we've gotten a welcome letter from Ann Tennis, the office manager, who says, by the way, I'm your neighbor in Wanakee. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've been members pretty much ever since. And um, you can tell that neighborhood and those connections are important to us. So I think it was in a, about... Two months ago, Pastor Zaina had a sermon. She talked about making others feel welcome and that there was a family who came in from out of town who met with her that same day to tour the grounds of MCC um, to potentially hold their father's funeral here. And seeing the progress flag outside helped them know that they had chosen the right place. And so, after reflection on that sermon, I asked myself the question, what about posting a progress flag at our other location, which is Camp Balsams? So if you want to open a can of worms, you should ask <laughs> the Camp Balsam Committee if we should fly a progress flag in Vilas County. <laughs> While we're still discerning what the best way is forward, what I did with that question and with that energy is nominate Vilas County for a surprising gift. 
So I did a quick Google search and I put LGBTQ plus Vilas County and got zero search results. I next searched for youth programs in Vilas County, I got one. So this Vilas County Youth Coalition is a group which aims to strengthen and promote youth health and resiliency by promoting intergenerational partnerships, positive opportunities, various community activities, and by encouraging respect, individuality, and active healthy citizenship. They operate the Northlands Pines Community Garden. They host a sixth grade positive alternatives conference and they have a campaign on anti-vaping and anti-drug use. So after Board of Mission and Stewardship um, heard about the Vilas County Youth Coalition, they voted to make it one of its surprising gifts and they asked me to write a letter to them about why a church in Middleton, Wisconsin is sending a check to Vilas County. And so I wanna read you the email that I wrote. I said, so nice to meet you virtually. My name is Brooke and I nominated the Vilas County Youth Coalition for the MCC Surprising Gift. In this, my third year of visiting Camp Balsam, our church's property on Bass Lake and Eagle River, it occurred to me that we are neighbors. I'm part of the MCC because it's an open and affirming church, one that has publicly declared that Members of the LGBTQ plus community are welcome in its full life and ministry. When we say no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are welcome here, and we really mean it. Residing near our state's capital, we are blessed with access to so many youth-oriented resources. Perhaps we are meant to be neighborly in sharing these resources with Vilas County. When I search for youth-oriented resources, the Vilas County Youth Coalition was the main resource I found. So on behalf of the Board of Mission and Stewardship, we wanna commend you for this work and support you moving forward. While our surprising gifts are intended to be received with no strings attached, I hope this email is the start of a mission partnership between Middleton Community Church and Vilas County Youth Coalition. I ask them to let us know how we can support them in the coming year whether it's sponsoring a program or hosting a drive for one of their critical initiatives. So thanks for hearing the story and thank you for supporting the Board of Mission and Stewardship. It's great to um, be able to nominate different organizations for these surprising gifts and I would invite you to think of a, a worthy uh, mission partner. We'll be calling for um, surprising gifts again this winter. Thank you.
seated. Now, my friends, I invite you to turn toward these doors that I remind you are not an exit, but an entrance into a week of service, a week of living together, connecting with one another and with the God who loves each and every one of us. As you go from this place, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may God look upon you with kindness and give you peace today and every day. Amen.